All right, guys, JD here. Welcome, welcome back to the IMAX It YouTube channel. I'm your host. If you're new, please do smash that like button, share, and definitely subscribe. For our members of the channel, we have to give you a massive shout out because you guys keep the channel rolling over. Oh, to become a member, click the giant button and do that thing. Simple. It YouTube guides you. So, anyways, we're going to talk about oh, uh, Michael Antonio might just become one of Jamaica's most important player through this Gold Cup and also maybe the World Cup quest. All right, Mr. Algrimson, Jamaica's new coach. Over around maybe four or five matches, we have seen him played a 4-4-2 four, four, system and then changed to a 4-2 3-1 system at one point when he used the local players the 4-2-3-1 system worked well in the second game against Trinidad but aside from that we saw the 4-4-2 system worked well against um Mexico to some extent all right anyways let me just go through Mikel Antonio's season um for you guys to understand what's going on and what's 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 his strengths and stuff and how it can actually deploy it in the Jamaica system. Let, let me know your thoughts in the comment section as well. Very, very much important. So as you know, um, West Ham is having a not so good season and as you could see if you don't know Michael Antonio is now 33 years old born in London and represent Jamaica but his market value still stays strong um, up to 9 million. All right, so that shows you he's still bossing it, even though he's in his 30s. All right, so 32 appearances right there, three, five goals, three assists, and two yellow cards. Amongst the starting level, as you could see, it makes it even better because it's 56% amongst the starting level and 55% in minutes played. But his goal participation is 21%, which is impressive in the league. And obviously, you know that when he talks about Mikel Antonio, he is one of the best pressers in the league and one of the best recoverer. And to bring his team up the pitch, he's one of the best in the world at doing that. And with a team like West Ham, it relies on him doing that because that's the only way we're going to get Lanzini, Gerard Bowen in the game. All right, yes, and he does that well because they tried to do it without him and they really dropped off. But once he came in, that's what happens, and it's going to play a similar part in Jamaica's quest as well. So, let him, anyways, let me move over to the Conference League itself. Seven games played in the Conference League, six goals. Two assists, um, and he is forty five percent, um, a, a percent amongst the starting eleven and forty five percent, forty four percent, um, minutes played, and he has thirty one goal participation. So even more with less time played. All right, yes, and then you go to the U. ECL qualifiers and he had two appearances in this one scored one goal he was not amongst the starting 11 in this one and only played an average of 25 minutes but his goal participation is 17 all right the FA Cup he was much much more fully in this one three appearances 100% starting 11 and um, 87 minutes played and his goal participation is 25 right there and then the Carabao Cup one and he was fully among that so one goal one game played so this has been an excellent season for Mikel Antonio due to the fact that he is not even playing as much minutes and still having so much goals con um, um, contribution to be honest and it West Ham in a good position in the league is solely down to him I'm telling you because it he, he triggers everyone else to play and get up the pitch so kudos to him and big ups all right so anyways that we move on to the um national team so in the 4-4-2 the other day we used two personals up front we used Liam Bailey and Shamar Nicholson Shamar Nicholson would drift wide and be the person to press Liam Bailey will play the supporting forward role all right yes so um with that now that said it showcased that Shamar Nicholson put in a very good performance right um love it a lot of persons said he never scored in a goal or anything but for me he was one of the best players on the field because I like when person can bring this team up the pitch um what you have realized over the years majority of jamaican teams does not possess the ball well and that is one of the biggest problem and once you don't have that 
sometimes it takes time even if a coach's philosophy is to possess the ball right it takes a little while so um when you don't have that at the start you have to have personnel that can hold the play longer all right and Mikel Antonio is one of the best doing that and he does it for his club so that's why Miss Mikel Antonio would always be the one in the spearhead and um, pushing back the team and pushing back the defensive line so persons cannot press on you all right and uh, um it could it could actually uh, free up the space for uh, Shamar Nicholson to play as a wing forward if Mikel Antonio is in in it so that would make it um that would make it a that will make it a four um a four two three one system all right so with michael antonio the reasons for him to be here and why he's one of the most important player he holds he holds up the line well he scores goals create goals so you're getting everything and he's, he brings the entire team and your system into play all right so that is the importance of michael antonio if most persons questioning why is he so important as to what i've stated in the title let me know your thoughts as well all right so what what i've gotten he the, the, the he, he gives the coach flexibility to get more personnel in better advantageous positions because without him and um the drawing up the pitch or the pressing ability um it would have it would have forced persons to go into right and midfield um, positions and do more defensive work. But because you're pushing back two center backs, it naturally helps um, the team have a more luxury player. So a Leon Bailey and um, Adama Gray, if he does come, would have more space um, in behind to work. And that's what he possesses well. And Shamar Nicholson coming up that, that, up that beautiful performance against Mexico would just make it even better. And those are the two formations I can only scout right now because that's the one um, that was produced by the coach. So Mikel Antoine having an excellent season based off what his club's his club's ambitions are to be you get me i can't even say anything more because he's doing exactly what's given to him does not play um the same amount of minutes but produced even more than what he produced ever in his career so if that does not say he's having an immaculate season i don't know what um else says that so let me know your thoughts in the comment section if you think that Mikel Antonio is one of um, Mr. Algrims' most important player going forward. We are going to be doing a few more personnel, so look out for it. But let me know your thoughts um, in the comment section. It is really and truly um, well appreciated. As what I've said, smash the like button, get us to 100, 200 likes on this one. We want to hear your takes on it tomorrow. Um, put it to two bills and this one tomorrow you will get your content crack nonetheless so massive massive respect big up guys take care and let me know your thoughts bye bye